card, but I have my little cousin who I adore has Down syndrome. And if anybody used that word around her or against her, it would be on sight. Like you would you would see this black movement coming at you and then you would be in heaven or actually hell because you use the R slur. So I'm not even defending. Like like they shouldn't have said it at all, point blank period. And I think they realized they shouldn't have said it and it was kinda of one of those situations where sorry I'm gonna charge her. Um like too little too late, does that make sense? Like they should have, it should have been stopped right from the get-go and not, oh my god, I fucking mirror, right from the get-go and not afterwards, and they didn't do that proact, like, they reactionary instead of proactively. So, by the time they realized what they'd done, it was kind of, gonna die. <laughs> my phone dies on my phone. back in business. So, you're not, I'm not defending that shit at all. Like, it should not have been said. I do not condone any use of slurs against the LGBT community or the disabled community or the disabled community whatsoever it's not okay and i think they realize that it's not okay which is why they're apologizing but if someone comes in this room uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah. so you're not going to hear me like defending that shit there's a lot of questions should i ask Please hold them accountable. Yes, I 110% agree. Hold them accountable. What was said should not have been said. And I'm glad that they're coming to apologize it. It's not my apology to accept. If you don't accept their apology, you are 100% valid in that. And you don't have to accept that apology if we're a part of the communities that were affected. But Ariel deactivated. Ariel deactivated. How do I do these questions? Literally, I don't know how I do questions. Do they come up randomly? Um, Take a deep breath. I literally have not taken a breath since this has started. Uh, so I'm not I'm not CC. I like why did she leave? But yeah, I'm not CC. I can't. I don't know. It's their decision. I asked CC multiple times if she was okay, if she wanted this account back, if she wanted to. She just said she wanted to post her apology and then be on her way, which is what happened. Um, so. Honestly, yeah, I I still love Cece as a friend, but I'm like I'm just really disappointed right now. I still love it. Like I under like she told me her point of view and like I respect it. I just I don't know, I'm just kinda disappointed. It's just I just like I don't know, like you were friends with someone for so long and then uh, yeah. But I know she, I know she, deep down she's a good she's a good person. It's just she just just bad judgments can just wreck a person's like image just like that and I think that was a bad decision on her end that kind of just I don't know I don't know I don't know everyone's asking what she did I at this point there's probably so many if you just type in the hashtag messy Monday you'll probably see what happened but like I've explained it a bit wait hold on sorry oh okay okay so she just texted me and saying Sorry, okay, never mind. Alright, so apparently the T-Star and R-Star weren't used. I don't, I have no idea at this point. I've just had so many people tell me that there's, I have no idea at this point. I'm not CC. Please stop. <laughs> I'm not CC. I've seen so many. Can someone please tell me what was said? Because I've had so many people DM me saying so many slurs were said. But now I'm being told that they weren't said. So if someone like had a more comprehensive thing than me, because I don't want to accuse them of saying things they didn't say. Like I, I hold them accountable for the things they did say, but don't hold them accountable for things they didn't say. <laughs> All right. So for the F slur, okay. Seeing the F slur. Okay. Okay. So okay. So I got clarification. So apparently, what I'm being, what I'm seeing here is that. Um, the T slur and the R slur were used, but it was used by someone who is trans and autistic. That's what I'm. That's what I'm reading here. The T slur is the slur that's used against trans women and trans men, and non-binary people. I'm not going to use it. Um, the N word, CC's. I'm not gonna condone. I'm not not condone. I'm not gonna condemn CC for using the N word because CC's half black. CC's black, you guys. 
She's black and she's half black, half German. And then both Ariel, Ariel's a lesbian. And then Cece stating Ariel. So I'm not gonna condemn them for using the N word or the F slur. If they wanna reclaim those, that is completely fine. But I just, apparently they didn't use the T slur or the R slur. At least that's what I'm seeing here. Did y'all not know Cece is black? Was this not known? I'm seeing, like, from what I've been told, sorry, I just, I'm getting a lot of DMs, and a DM popped up. From what I'm being told, the R slur wasn't used by CC or Ariel. So I don't know. But I, I don't know. I, at least, here's, here's, I'm probably gonna end it like this, and then I'll probably go live later today so people who weren't on this one can see the next one. I, deep down... I know that Cece and Ariel are good people. It's just, I've, I, like, I know that. I don't think what they did today was smart. I don't think it was right. I think they hurt a lot of people. I think they need to be held accountable for that. And I don't think we should gloss over that simply because of Cece and Ariel. But I don't, I just, shit, I don't know. It's 2 a.m. I can't even think. I just, I just wanted to come on here and... Why can't say so they're both gay. I'm I'm well I'm not gonna say what I am, but I'm not straight. Um but from what I've heard, at least from both in the LGBTQ community, is that people anybody can reclaim it. Including lesbians and like bisexuals and stuff like that, not just gay men. Save this life, yeah, I'm gonna save it. Yeah, I Arrow deactivated. Please like I get what they did was fucked, but please don't send them hate. I've gotten texts and messages from both of them, and it's just they're both in not the best places right now. And I understand there's holding people accountable, and then there's, like, death threats, which shouldn't be happening. I... Listen, I'm not going to jump in... Again, I'm not straight, but I'm not going to jump into who can and who can't to the F slur. But, yeah, CC didn't get hacked. That was... They were essentially a prank for a social experiment. Um, Cece never did a face reveal. No one, Cece never did her face reveal. But she's, uh, well, to certain people she did. I, like, I've never seen Cece's face, but I know she's black. Like, she's black. And then, um, they're both gay, so. Um, yeah. But again, I I keep saying again, I'm sorry you guys, this is so freaking stupid. Like I just, I look so stupid sitting out here rambling to like 2,000 of you at 2 a.m. in the morning. I have no idea what the fuck I'm talking about. So I'm probably gonna get my thoughts together and then go on live later so I don't sound like an incoherent mess. Um, but this is not CC. CC has left this account. I am going to be continue posting tea as well as activism measures and more POC curators and all TikTokers. Yeah, that's basically it. I'll save this slide. That's basically it. I have nothing more <laughs> to say. Because um, I have graduation tomorrow. I need to go to sleep. Um, but thank you guys for understanding. I understand that this was a very, I guess, triggering instance for a lot of people. And I'm, again, I'm sorry if you had to see that. Um, yeah, basically it. Um, so you guys have a good night. I'm going to come on live again to explain myself better tomorrow. I just thought I should do it now to like rip the bandit off and then I'll come and do it tomorrow. Um, yeah, so you guys have a good night. Talk to you tomorrow and I'll start posting tomorrow and go into more details about what's happening on this account tomorrow. So good night. <laughs>